undisclosed location somewhere in North America, this is your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. This week we're looking at Egyptian art, which has often been described as blocky, static, abstract, and formal. Unlike the ancient Greeks and Romans, Egyptians valued artistic creation beyond purely aesthetic purposes. In general, art was not meant for the contemporary viewer, but was meant to honor the dead and was meant to be seen by divine beings, which is evidenced in the beautifully painted walls and ceilings of Egyptian tombs. Among the collection at the Metropolitan Museum of Art is a beautifully preserved painter's palette discovered in Thebes in Upper Egypt. It was acquired by Lord Carnarvon in 1923. The palette dates to 1390 to 1352 BC. It is a single carved piece of ivory with six wells still containing blue, green, brown, yellow, red, and black pigments. It is inscribed with the inscription dating it to the time of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. Egyptian artists used tempera paint, made from ground minerals, water, and a binder or adhesive often using wood gum or egg whites. Perhaps the most important pigment used by Egyptian artists is what is known as Egyptian blue. This color was reserved for the most exquisite of artworks. Egyptian blue was created by heating a mixture of calcium, a copper compound, silica sand, and potash. The color is associated with heaven and the water of the Nile. Egyptian blue is still highly sought after, It is said to reduce building energy consumption, boosting solar energy output, and is known to increase the output of certain types of solar cells through its strong infrared emissions. Egyptian blue is even being used by biomedical imaging. It can penetrate through tissue more effectively than other wavelengths. Thank you for listening. This has been your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. If you have a story idea or a hot tip, please email us at reportminuteman at gmail.com. Again, that is reportminuteman at gmail.com. And be sure to tune in every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific for a new live episode of Truth Be Told, hosted by Tony Sweet on ubngo.com.